Hello everybody, I'm at possibly quite the deepest lake, second deepest lake in North America supposedly, second to Lake Tahoe. This is Lake Harrison, it's very big, and it's supposedly a thousand feet in depth. So I have about 500 feet of fishing line attached to a um, underwater instrument and see how waterproof it is. So here we go, I have a weight attached to it, I have about 500 left the fishing line and we're ready Let's see how deep it is here supposedly this is one of the deeper points and I'll catch you guys up once the line is finished just to give you an idea this is already at the end this is like I'm pro I probably have like 10 feet of line left I don't want to go any further what if it's empty I'm still not reaching the bottom here as you can see we're pretty far from shore and this is 500 feet of fishing lines, guys. That is the equivalent of a 44 building beneath us. Hello, everybody. This is the final update. This is actually the next day since I sunk this entire contraption down to Lake Harrison, pretty much the bottom. Not quite the bottom, but at least 500 feet in. You can see this is how pro waterproof watches are really are. This is rated for only 100 feet, as you can see. Yeah, let me zoom that in. Yeah, 100 feet. I sunk it at least 500 feet. This is 500 feet of fishing lines. So yet reached, haven't reached the bottom, and yet everything still works perfectly fine on this. The alarm, the stopwatch, even the light. Yeah, you can kind of kind of see it. Even the light still works, and the battery is all good. No, there's no sign of water entry. So yeah, I guess you could say that you can safely swim with these watches. Hope you guys enjoy this quick little test, and I'll see you guys up in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.